Okay, so here are some of the materials you're going to need, okay? Uh, first off, let me move everything out of the camera. And we'll start with some beads, okay? You will need some 11, size 11 beads. I am using Cobalt Picasso 11, size 11 beads, okay? That's going to be to um, encase my cabochon. I'm also going to be using these 50, size 15 beads. They're just white beads. You will also need a cabochon. Whatever size you're using, I'm going to show you how to, to count uh, so that it fits perfectly whatever size you're using. For embellishing, we're gonna, I'm going to be using some 4mm round nickel colored uh, rounds. Uh, you will need a bead because what I'm going to do with this is right at the top, I'm going to put it right here. This is, I believe, a size 6 millimeter bead. You will also need a jump ring. Okay, that's at the end when we do our bail. You will need some thread. I'm using a six pound fire line thread that I bought at a, actually I bought on eBay at a fishing uh, store. It's a lot cheaper than buying um, fire line uh, beading thread. A thread conditioner. This is very important so that your thread doesn't get all tangled and frayed. And you'll need obviously a pair of scissors. I'm using a size 12 needle and the thread I'm using a wingspan and a half. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to condition my thread. So I'm just going to open this up. There's all kinds of conditioners out there. It's whatever you like the best. Um, and basically what I'm doing is just sticking it in there and pulling it through like this. Now I'm using the whole uh, wingspan and a half, but use the length that you want. That's best, you know, that you can, that you're most comfortable working with. If it's smaller than that, you will have to add thread later, okay? So I also have this um, little tray here to pick up my beads, which I love. It just picks up the beads very easily. And um, that's it. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a bead that's not a part of our project, a completely different bead. So I'm going to pick up my four millimeter um, little silver bead here and I'm going to bring it right down to the end and leave myself a little tail, just something that I can hang on to. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go through it up this way, the opposite way. So your tail is coming down this way and you're going to put your needle up through here. And that's going to make a little circle around your bead. Okay, so now that we have that, here are the beads that I'm going to be using. Okay. Now I'm going to bring out a couple of these glass cabochons here. here let me get these beads out of the way. So as you can see, they're not all the same size, okay? So I can't tell you, pick up 44, you might have a different size than me, okay? So I'm gonna be using this one. I didn't pre-count or anything, but what I'm gonna do, what you do need to remember when you're doing a bezel is to pick up an even number, okay? So I'm gonna start picking up. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I've got four, 
five, six, eight, nine, ten. So I'm just going to do ten at a time. Me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Bring them down. One, two. Thirty. Okay, so I have 40. That's going to be about the number. I know I probably 50 will be too much, but I may have to add a few more. So this is how we're going to measure it. You put your cabochon there, you put your beads down, and you're just going to make a circle. Now it just has to sit in there, and I see that I need to add more beads. So I'm going to add six more. I don't want it to be sit too loose and I don't want it to be too tight either. And when I add six more, I'm almost there. Let me just double check here. I'm going to add two more. So for me, for this particular cabochon, I'm adding 48 size 11 seed beads. Now these seed beads I'm using are Miyuki. If you're using Toho or Czech, it's not the same size bead, even though they're 11s. They might be slightly bigger, slightly smaller, and that's perfect. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm my tail is here. I'm going to hold my beads like this and I'm going to sew back through all of them making a circle. In my circle, I'm not going to make it too tight because when you're doing peyote, you have to fit some beads through the spaces. So I'm just going to leave it slightly loose and it's going to cinch it all up when I'm done the first round. right back where I started. So I'm coming out where my thread, my tail end is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie one little knot, again not too tight. So I'm going to take off this stop bead and I'm just going to secure it in a knot, just making sure and twice and not too tight okay so this is what we have now it's secure my beads aren't going anywhere I'm gonna sit this back in here and it's a nice fit we're gonna be working our way up to encase this cabochon 
So for those of you who are new to peyote, there are other videos out there to show you what a, uh, maybe a single strip on how to do peyote, but those of you who know, or even if you are a beginner, just stay with me and we'll, it's pretty easy actually. So I'm gonna move over one bead and I'm gonna put my knot, it'll just pull my knot into the next bead. So here, I'm just gonna make sure you can see, okay. So you pick up one bead, I'm coming out of this bead, and I'm gonna skip the next one, go into the next. So skip one, go into the next bead. Just like that. See how it just fits in there? Pick up another bead, skip the bead, next to where your thread's coming out and then pop it right in there. And what this is creating, it's creating little hills or little peaks. And we're going to do that all the way around. So skip a, ge spi <laughs> sorry, skip a bead, go into the next bead. That's all there is to peyote. Skip a bead, go in the next bead. And do this all the way around until I'm going to come back when I'm just one or two before the end. Okay, so continue that all the way around. Yeah, let me just do one more here. And I'll meet you two beads before the end. Okay, so we're almost at the end. And what we're going to do is continue on. And I'm going to show you how to step up. So you're going to continue skipping a bead. And we're going to skip another bead. Now, I'm going into this one here, okay? And you see that I there's a bead sticking up right there? That is stepping up. So you're going into the next bead and the bead that's sticking up. And now that you've just stepped up. So now we start a new round. And here we go. Here's your tail. So now it's going to be a lot easier. What you're going to do is just put a bead in every little valley that's here. And uh, do that all the way around and you'll step up again. And every now and then we're going to stick in our cabochon, our glass cabochon or whatever uh, cabochon you're using. And we're going to see uh, how it fits and continue on like this see easy to see next one sticking up And as you pull it, now it's time to keep it nice and taut and tight uh, so that it cups. It's going to start to cup. And so just make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a little tug. So continue like that. And I'm going to meet you just before the end of the row. Okay, so we're right about the end of our next row. And again, we pick up a bead. We go through the next bead. And right here, we're stepping up, okay? Now, it's a little hard to see, so I am going to move in and get this all focused. Okay, so pick up a bead. 
it's a little harder to see. Now, see, we just added this bead here. Okay. Now we're going in this bead. And then we're stepping up into the next bead. See that? And you pull through. So now we start our new row. Now before we're going to do that, we're going to take our little cabochon here and I'm going to sit it in here. Now I'm going to sit it, see right now it's facing up, I'm going to sit it facing down because that's how I do it. I uh, start with the back, I encase the back. So I think I'm going to need two more rows. So let me continue with this and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like and again in case yours is bigger or smaller than mine um, what it should look like before you start adding the 15 C beads. Okay so let me finish that and we'll be right back. Okay here we are. I finished all my rows and I'm going to take my glass cabochon I'm going to put it upside down. See the front and the back? I'm going to put the front part towards the bottom and I'm just going to sit it in there. Okay. Now once that's sit in, you see where I'm at? It's just hitting the top here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing all the way around. We're going to be encasing this. I am going to be adding my 15, size 15 seed bees. So here we go. Pick up a seed bead. Now this we're popping them in that those little sections there that are open. These are smaller beads and we are going to be pulling them slightly tighter than usual so that we can get them all in and so that this gets nicely nice and encased. I love the white with this. I always use my white 15s because it really brings out the uh, color of the blue. You really see it. So same thing going around. Now usually with a cabochon, let's say this was a foiled back, which is this is not. If it's a foiled back, I would encase the entire back part because the, the foil will come off. But with this, I won't cover the whole thing because it's not, it doesn't have a foiled back. So you're going to go around and around. Almost there. Always holding your glass cabochon so it doesn't move out of place. And here, because we have a contrast color, it'll be easier to um, see where you need to step up.
Okay, now I'm just about ready to step up. Okay, here I'm stepping up. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so I'm going into, rather than the next white over here, I need to go into the blue right here. Whoops, just one right there. Pull through. And I got my little tail caught there, so I'll just get that out of the way. Tail is still caught. And it's still caught, my God. Okay, now it's not caught. Okay, now I'm going to step up into the next, I'm not picking up a bead. I went through that blue and I'm going up through the white. Stepped up. So that, now I'm gonna go around and around until I like the uh, look of it. And uh, so keep doing that. And I'll be back in a bit. So I've completed my, I did three rounds. So I have enough of my blue that I wanna show. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to move our way on the sides here. Now, when I count, I've got one, two, three, four, and there's a bead right in the middle, right here. Now, if you have an odd number or an even number, just move up one. You don't want to be over here. You want to be closer to here. So I've got one, two, and then one right here, and then three, four. So I'm going to move my way over there. Again, in a diagonal. Doesn't matter where you start. And I'm moving right here. So here we have one and then there's two on the side and then there's one right above it. We're gonna be working our way like this. So you're gonna pick up an 11, either the same color or a different color, and you're gonna move your way into the next bead. Now as you can see, that creates a little bump there. I will do that again. And before I move on, I want to make sure that this little four millimeter round is going to fit. And it looks like it will. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do this all the way around. So I hope you can see this. These are dark beads came out of this one going up to the next one right above it see what that's doing So work your way around like this and then I will meet you when I'm done. Now that I've completed 
the side peaks here that we went around. Now what we're going to do is start embellishing. Here, let me move, move out a little bit so you can see. Okay, here are my beads that I'm using. I'm using, I'm still using these 11s and now I'm bringing out my four millimeters. So I'm going to grab a four millimeter and again, we're just going to put it in between the beads. So if we're going to go coming out of a bead, just go into the next one. Now, if I start adding all these four millimeters in the middle, it's not going to fit. So I'm just going to take one eleven, go into the next one, pick up a, a four millimeter. Oops go into the next bead and we're gonna do this all the way around. Now why isn't that bead fitting? You know why? Because it got caught. So an 11, next bead, a four, next bead, And 11, oops, little knot, next bead. So you're going to continue this all the way around and then we're going to reinforce it. Okay, I'm going to go put them all the way around to the end and then I will go around again and then I'm going to show you how to make that bale. Now that I've completed the side peaks here that we went around, now what we're going to do is start embellishing. Here, let me move, move out a little bit so you can see. Okay, here are my beads that I'm using. I'm using, I'm still using these 11s and now I'm bringing out my four millimeters. So I'm going to grab a four millimeter and again, we're just going to put it in between the beads. So if we're going to go coming out of a bead, just go into the next one. Now, if I start adding all these four millimeters in the middle, it's not going to fit. So I'm just going to take one 11 go into the next one, pick up a, a four millimeter, oops, go into the next bead and we're gonna do this all the way around. Now why isn't that bead fitting? You know why? Because it got caught. So an 11, Next bead, a four, next bead, an eleven, oops, little knot, next bead. So you're going to continue this all the way around and then we're going to reinforce it. Okay, I'm going to go put them all the way around to the end and then I will go around again and then I'm going to show you how to make that bale. So what I've done is I've gone around this little bit here three times and I'm coming up the four at the top. So now the next step is just go through that 11 Pick up three elevens, actually no, pick up five elevens, sorry, yeah five is about right, I picked up one too many. And we're going to circle around here. 
that's going to make a smaller loop on top. And we're going to reinforce this a few times. Okay. Now I would go again, but just for again tutorial purposes, I'm just going to go ahead. Now what you want to do is just do a couple of knots here and how to do that is when you come out of a bead, just go through that little loop, the whole part right here if you can see that. Bring your thread around go through the thread and just make a half hitch knot, making sure that you don't um, go around the bead, but you go in between the bead. And I'm going to move over to, actually going around, I'm reinforcing again, so never mind what I just said. I will, I'm coming out of this one, I'm going to do another little knot here. Pass through two beads, pass through the next bead, so I want to get away from the knot before I snip my thread. Oops. So I'm away from my knot. I'm going to take my scissors, get as close as I can, snip the thread, and now your very last step is you're going to grab your jump ring, two pliers, I'm going to open that up, pop it on my last little ring here that I made, and then I'm just going to close it up. And that's closed. And there you have it. Here is your pendant. And your chain is going to go right through that jump ring. And this looks fantastic, with especially with summer around the corner. Um, these colors are great, and they look great with as a choker. If you put that on a brown leather cord or even just a small um, silver chain, it looks so nice just at the nape of your neck um, with a nice dress or whatever you're wearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some kits for these, for the light blue, for the yellow, for the green, and the purple. And uh, there will be written instructions uh, available for download as well on my website, which is BetermanJewelry.com. There will be a link below. And uh, please, if you uh, like this video, you know, uh, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to see more videos, just subscribe and you'll be notified of upcoming uh, videos that I post. I'll be doing a lot of wire jewelry and obviously I, I love beads, so I'll be beading also. Now, in my next um, video, I'm going to be showing you how to do these gorgeous bracelets. I have them in two colors made so far. This is a night, look how that sparkles. It's lightweight, it's fluid, it's um, it'll be a right angle weave and it's pretty simple to make and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day and thank you for watching.